All right. This is a classic example of, well, I don't know, poor manufacturing or ignorant manufacturing or exact reproduction, perfect fit. It's all BS, whatever. But needed a new lamp base for the overhead lamp in the Chevelle, right? So factory one is all, you know, melted and crusty from years of use. All right. Now the factory one, if you notice, well, this isn't the factory. This is the reproduction. The factory one around here where the electrical contacts go, there's like a blue insert of plastic. And the reason is the uh, vacuum deposited chrome, like you see on this one, is conductive. So as soon as I put the contacts through here, there's going to be a direct short. It's going to be popping the fuse for the uh, overhead lights and the accessories in the car. Now, of course, I don't know if this is made in China or not, but this is what's available on the market. Either these guys meant well or they don't know that chrome deposited... Uh, that vacuum deposited chrome or whatever is conductive. So we're going to do a little test. Here we have the ohm meter. We have it set for resistance. We have it set for tone. So when I ground this here together, we'll see what will happen. I ground these together. Shows conductivity, right? Okay. So now this light base is made out of plastic, but it's chrome plated. So. Uh, since it's chrome plated and since the contacts push right through the alleged chrome plating, here's what's going to happen as soon as I hook them up. If I can get my hands to do this right. It's going to conduct and short stuff out in the car. So I'm going to have to either chip the chrome. See, this is right where the contacts are going to go. I'm either going to have to chip the chrome off. Or figure out some way to insulate it, which of course that would break the plastic and ruin it. It won't be reliable. This is just another example of people, they don't understand how these parts need to be made. They just make them, oh, ours looks good. Oh, let's just sell it. Oh, just put it in your car. So what if it doesn't work? Well, anyway, there's all the part number crap from Rock Auto. But it's just typical. I'll see if I can chip off some of the chrome. If not, this part just didn't go work. This is typical.